Welcome to Diego's Sea Palace. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, just cutting through here the um, St Paul's uh, Gardens at the back. But this is a reaction to the Crystal Palace women uh, fixture at uh, Selhurst Park against, of course, the Southampton women. What an amazing day. Before I kick off, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe at Diego's Sea Palace and uh, give it a like and give it a subscribe if you can to be grateful. But yeah, just some absolutely buzzing still from the game. Of course, we didn't get the three points. And uh, oh yeah, where of you don't know, here in the St Paul's churchyard, there is a, a statue of, you can see it there. So John Wesley, the um, yeah, the father of the Methodist church. If any of you are of that faith, it's, uh, don't miss it out. Yeah, just come around here St Paul's. But anyway, so here we go. Uh, where do I start? Well, Anticipation for the match uh, going to Southampton Park for the Crystal Palace women's fixture against Southampton. I was absolutely buzzing. And on arrival, um, the reception from the football club, from the football fans, there it was actually a tier one. Um, the fan zone was, was buzzing. It was absolute season. It was absolutely amazing the work that the club has put in there. And that's testament to, no doubt, to the work that they put in. And that's why they've got, um, I think, nearly 5,000. Uh, nearly 5,000 people that turned up to watch uh, the Crystal Palace women play against Southampton women. Amazing, amazing, amazing thing done by the club and by the old fans that turned out on that. It was a, it was a wonderful day. On the match itself, I'm going to start with um, what I felt I was looking forward to going into the game. I'm going to take it back a little bit, uh, not to the previous match, but to the match before that at. Uh, um, it wasn't the valley, it was, yeah, no, when we were playing against uh, um, uh, against Watford away. And I'll give you this example, I'm going to give you two examples. One example from that match, um, I remember, um, I remember uh, Lisa Hughes, our striker, um, she scored the first goal, and after the first goal that she scored, she went up uh, for a for, um, for a for a header towards goal, but the, I think she collided with the um, with the centre half or the uh, or the right back of the Watford or, or what, um, home players there. And as she as she collided with them, she hit her face. And I remember, I remember Elisa Hughes. She was like holding onto her face like this after the thing. She was like hiding the injury away from the bench, but she didn't want to come off. Elisa just did not want to come off the bench. She was running around for a few minutes, holding her head, making putting her jaw back or her cheekbone back into place. But she did not want to come off. And it's amazing effort, amazing attitude from Lisa Hughes and from all the players that day. And another example, come last Sunday, was a remarkable performance, uh, some of the best performances that I've seen um, from many of players. But I'm going to call out a few. Um, again, another example, um, our defender, um, Hayley Nolan. Early in the match, um, I was sitting not far from where she received in the first half. She collided with one uh, with the Southampton uh, defender, and I felt I felt the blow. I, I didn't feel it, but I, I sensed the blow. And for me, um, um, Haley Nolan, she just got up. She had a glass of water, and she just shouldered on. She just did not want to come off the pitch. How she got up from the injury, I have no idea. And uh, she just carried on for the rest of the match into extra time. And she was absolutely amazing. Um, such an awe of her performance that day. Another two players that I want to mention for the Crystal Palace women, they were all amazing. But the one which I could see close in was um, uh, no particular order. It's Arayana, Araya uh, Dennis and and um, Alexia uh, Potter. Um, I'm going to start with Araya Dennis. She was just absolutely amazing. She again, she got she got knocked during the game, but she didn't get bothered. She was on the bat. She just did not stop. Absolutely amazing. She's an amazing prospect for the game. I mean, no doubt. If you don't believe me, go and watch the Crystal Palace women, and, I, and you'll see that I'm, I'm, I'm speaking the truth. And then also, um, in the second half, I swear, one time towards, towards the end of the second half, um, Arena Dennis, she got, she got, she got hit in the face. It was, a, I think, it was an intentional slap in the face. And the liner, she didn't see it, or she pretended not to see it. And at that moment, I looked at the, the referee, and he was like, I swear, about 35 to uh, 40 yards away from the plate. So he didn't see it either. It was seen. I was actually seen. 
I mean, when everybody walked away, I hold on a minute, some things going on here. It's okay. And after after the um, the, the, the sort of, after she got hit in the face, what happened was everyone walked away, and Ariana Dennis just looked up, and she was like trying to put her, making sure her nose, everything was in place. And she was like, oh, wait a minute, no one actually saw that. I just got slapped in the face, I got hit in the face. And that kind of thing, and I was like, she just looked around and she was like, okay, you don't see me? You know what you want to see me? Now you're going to see me. Now you're going to really see me. She carried on soldiering on. Absolutely amazing. But her link-up play, around the Dennis's, uh, Dennis's link-up play with Alexia Potter, and I can see every time that I see Alexia, uh, Alexia Potter play for Peter Palace Women, why she's on Chelsea's books. Um, as, a, as a very young uh, prospect of the game, what an amazing player! What an amazing prospect for the game of women's football. Um, she's going to play for the for the for, for the full side of, 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 the, of, of the of the senior for England one day. Real talk. I'm not just saying that. She's absolutely amazing. Two reasons: she tracks back deep. She where she's in uh, in the attacking midfielder role. Any position, she's always fighting for the ball. But for me, what Alicia Potter does as well is that when she gets hold of the ball. She has an eye for the pass. She doesn't have to ponder what should I do with the ball or I need to be told what to do with the ball. Alexia Potter, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's just natural to her. She has an eye for a pass and the link up play between her and Arana Danis, oh my days, absolutely combination. Of course I'm not gonna say what uh, Laura should pick and what she shouldn't pick because I don't know nothing about football. But real talk. I'd love to see a bit more of uh, Ariana Dennis and um, Alexa Potter link up in, in the play. They were absolutely amazing. So that's for me. And for the Southampton players, I would say, um, for the Southampton players, I would say the best player on the pitch for me was, oh, I'm going to say it's rain now, I've got to hurry up, was uh, a player called um, Molly, Molly Pike. Molly Pike, the Southampton women. She was outstanding in the first half and in the second half. And for me, she was just absolutely their best player um, but we didn't get the three points and um, for Crystal Palace I'm going to give this a shout out for the football club well done for getting everybody there looking after everybody but please if we can have at least three more games for the Crystal Palace women uh, playing at home um, at Selhurst Park I reckon the numbers can go from 5,000 all the way up between 10 and 15,000 I reckon with the work that you guys all do at the club with the fans turning up I think we could do it I think we can get up to 15,000 at Selhurst Park real tall so well done Crystal Palace well done the Crystal Palace fans well done the Southampton away fans and I had a buzz it was an amazing day uh, and um, a massive thank you player of, of, of the player of the, of, of, of the match for me I'm going to give it to um, our defender Hayley Nolan I think she, she, Hayley, Hayley Nolan, I can see why she gets picked for international too and, and also regularly for Crystal Palace. For me, Hayley Nolan, your performance, not just because of the, that injury that you picked up, but it's the way you dealt with that afterwards. My, my, uh, my uh, player, women player for that fixture, Crystal Palace women versus um, the Southampton women, uh, women, um, I'm going to give it to Hayley Nolan. I hope you're okay, Hayley Nolan. It's Tuesday now, and I expect you're probably still feeling it. Um, but um, definitely, we got your corner. We got your corner. I hope you're okay and recovery-wise. So thank you very much for watching. Um, absolutely buzzing. Getting completely soaked in now at Science and Pools. Well done, Crystal Palace women. Laura, coaching staff, and players. Keep working hard, and good luck against uh, Watford. I think it's in the League Cup tomorrow evening. Um, um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe at Diego C Palace. And if you're if you're a Crystal Palace fan, go to the official webpage at Crystal Palace FC.co.uk uh, forward slash women. That's amazing content. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna cut it because I'm getting safe. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.